Welcome to start here with quotes by Jefferson. Welcome to start here with quotes by Jefferson, a transformative journey into motivation, inspiration, and guidance. Dive into the wealth of wisdom curated from the works of Jefferson Otenbara Inbi, presented on our YouTube channel, Start Here with Jefferson. Our playlist is not just a collection of quotes, it's a dynamic resource designed to empower and elevate your daily life. Jefferson's insights, drawn from his books, publications, and blogs, offer diverse perspectives. It's more than a mere recitation of quotes, we take the extra step to dissect and explore the profound depths of each quote, revealing how it can be applied to navigate life's complexities. Our commitment to citing the quotes and thoroughly analyzing and explaining their significance distinguishes us. We provide a dual perspective, examining the positive aspects of the quote while also considering potential reversals, ensuring a comprehensive understanding. This unique approach goes beyond inspiration, it offers practical advice, breaking down the quotes to guide you in implementing them in various scenarios. Join us on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Let's explore the wisdom of Jefferson together, gaining insights that go beyond words to transform and enhance your life. This is not just a playlist, it's your guide to a renewed vigor in pursuing your goals. Start here, and let the wisdom of Jefferson be your compass on this extraordinary voyage. The Table of Content We present the Table of Contents for Start Here with quotes by Jefferson. Today's episode. In this subtitle we refer to the current installment or segment of the series where we announce the quote number. The inspirational quote by Jefferson O. Inby. This subtitle declares the quotation for the day by Jefferson O. Inby. The source of today's quote. The subtitle draws your attention to the source from which the quote for the day is extracted. It gives a summary of the source and you can get a copy of the source. Introduction. This is a brief introduction of the quote. It gives a general insight of what the quote will cover. The judgment. This subtitle focuses on exploring the potential limitations or criticisms of the quote. We consider whether the message of the quote is universal or whether it may be limited in certain contexts. We also explore how different audiences have received the quote and what criticisms or counterarguments have been raised. The key. This subtitle focuses on identifying the key message or themes of the quote. We explore the underlying principles or values that the quote embodies and consider how these ideas can be applied in different contexts. We also consider how the quote relates to other ideas or themes that are important to you. The application. This subtitle focuses on exploring how the quote can be applied to everyday life. We provide examples of how the quote can be used to inspire action or change and offer tips on how to implement the message in your daily life. We also consider how the quote relates to specific challenges or issues that you may be facing. The image. This subtitle focuses on exploring the metaphorical or symbolic meanings of the quote. We consider how the imagery or language used in the quote contributes to its overall message and what deeper meanings or insights can be gleaned from the language used. We also explore how the quote has been visually represented or interpreted in different contexts. The Potential Reversal This subtitle focuses on exploring how the message of the quote might be reversed or contradicted in certain contexts. We consider how the quote might be challenged by different cultural or social norms or how its message might need to be adapted to be relevant in different contexts. We also consider how the quote relates to different perspectives or worldviews and what insights can be gained from considering alternative viewpoints. The conclusion. The conclusion provides a sense of closure and helps to reinforce the importance of the quote. Make a difference by giving. We will introduce you to our link, where you can contribute to supporting the work we are doing. A message from Jefferson. Direct words from Jefferson to encourage, motivate and inspire you as we conclude this episode.
Today's episode. Start here with Jefferson presents you with quotes by Jefferson. We present quote number 316. The inspirational quotes by Jefferson Owen B. Quote, in the depths of adversity, the word of God is your steadfast anchor, grounding you in hope and strengthening you for the journey ahead. Unquote. The source of today's quote. Today's inspirational quote from Start Here with Quotes by Jefferson is taken from My Daily Devotion, the show word for today. Immerse yourself in daily inspiration with the sure word for today by Jefferson O. In B. This soul enriching devotion, accessible at www.theshoreword.org.uk, provides profound insights and spiritual guidance to illuminate your daily journey. Inbi's reflections are meticulously crafted to uplift, motivate, and establish a firm foundation for everyday life. For a consistent source of wisdom, visit the website to subscribe to the daily devotion. Elevate your spiritual journey further by becoming a member of our YouTube channel. Empower your daily living with the sure word for today and witness the transformative impact of its uplifting messages. Pause the video and scan the QR code to join and receive the daily devotion. Pause the video again, scan the QR code, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we feature playlists spanning various aspects of life. The Introduction In the journey of life, we often face challenges and adversities that can leave us feeling adrift and uncertain. However, this quote suggests that admits the stormy seas of adversity, there exists a steadfast anchor, the Word of God. This introduction sets the stage for exploring how the Word of God can provide hope and strength in the face of adversity. The judgment. The message conveyed in the quote may be seen as universal, transcending specific contexts or beliefs. However, some critics may argue that the effectiveness of relying on the word of God as an anchor in adversity could vary depending on an individual's religious beliefs or worldview. Additionally, different audiences may interpret the significance of the Word of God differently, leading to diverse perspectives on its role in providing hope and strength. The Key At its core, the key message of the quote lies in the idea that admits life's trials and tribulations. The Word of God serves as a reliable source of hope and strength. It embodies the principle of faith and resilience, encouraging individuals to anchor themselves in the promises and teachings found within the Word of God. This key message can be applied in various contexts guiding individuals to draw upon spiritual resources to navigate challenges and find inner strength. The Application In everyday life, the code encourages you to integrate the principles and teachings of the Word of God into your mindset and actions. When facing adversity, 
you can turn to scriptures for comfort, guidance, and inspiration. By anchoring yourself in the Word of God, you can cultivate a sense of hope and reliance that empowers you to overcome obstacles and persevere in your journey. The Image Metaphorically, the image of the Word of God as a steadfast anchor invokes a sense of stability and security amidst turbulent waters. Just as an anchor holds a ship steady in stormy seas, the Word of God anchors you in faith and provides a sense of grounding amidst life's uncertainties. This imagery underscores the importance of spiritual grounding and the role of faith in watering life's storms. The potential reversal. While the quote emphasizes the significance of the Word of God in providing hope and strength, alternative perspectives may challenge this notion. Diverse cultural or religious beliefs may offer alternative sources of guidance and support in times of adversity. Additionally, the effectiveness of relying solely on the Word of God may vary depending on an individual's subjective experiences and beliefs. The Conclusion In conclusion, the code highlights the transformative power of anchoring yourself in the Word of God during times of adversity. By embracing its teachings and promises, you can find hope, strength and resilience to navigate life's challenges. Ultimately, the Word of God serves as a beacon of light amidst the darkness, guiding you through the storms of life with unwavering faith. Make a difference by giving. Embark on a journey of inspiration, knowledge, and empowerment with our trio of YouTube channels. The sure word for today, robust digital expert, and start here with Jefferson. Each video is meticulously crafted to uplift and inform, guiding you through life's challenges and unlocking your full potential. Now, you have the opportunity to fuel our mission and make a tangible difference. By supporting us with a coffee, you're not just keeping our content alive, you're empowering us to soar to new heights. Together, let's ignite change and inspire others to do the same. Join us today and become part of something extraordinary. The link to support us is in the description. Click now to make a meaningful impact. A message from Jefferson. We find ourselves in a time where anger seems to reign unchecked, leading to senseless acts of violence over trivial matters. It's imperative to exercise caution, avoiding unnecessary confrontations that could escalate into dangerous situations. In such circumstances, it's crucial to prioritize safety over being right or wrong. The other person's irrationality, fueled by anxiety and anger, may pose a significant threat regardless of the validity of your stance. Sometimes, extending an apology, even when undeserved, could be the difference between life and death. Saying I'm sorry and moving forward is not a sign of weakness. Instead, it showcases inner strength and courage. By acknowledging a situation's potential danger and diffusing it with humility, you not only protect yourself but also demonstrate empathy and understanding. Your willingness to prioritize peace and safety over pride reflects the true strength of character, serving as a beacon of hope and reason in a world often overshadowed by anger and hostility.
Before we conclude, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel, The Sure Word for Today. I promise you will find uplifting and insightful content that nourishes your spirit and strengthens your faith.